Good morning my dear children and I hope that all of you are fine. So today I am back with another story from the house of our learning partner Extra Marks. So the name of the story is The Cunning Fox and the Clever Stork. Once upon a time there lived a very cunning fox. One day he tried to cheat and have fun with a stork. He made friends with the stork and invited the stork to have a feast with him. Come to my home. I will treat you with some delicious food. The stork accepted the invitation. Okay, I will surely come. Next day, the stork remained hungry for the whole day. In the evening, the fox took the stork to his home. Please have this soup. The stork was shocked to see that. The soup was served in a shallow bowl. The stork was not even able to taste the soup with its long bill. However, the fox easily licked the soup from the bowl. The stork could only touch the soup with the tip of its bill. How is the soup? Don't you like it? Oh, it is good, but my stomach is upset. And I can't have any more. I am sorry to hear that. Oh dear, please don't be sorry. Thank you for inviting me. She left the place thanking the fox. However, the stork understood that the fox fooled him and decided to teach the fox a lesson. The fox fooled me. I will teach him a lesson. After a few days, the fox met the stork again. Why don't you come over and have dinner at my place? The fox was happy and promised to come. The day arrived and the fox reached the stork's place. The food was served in a narrow jar with a long neck. Now the stork was able to reach the food very easily with its long bill. However, the fox could not. My stomach is hurting. I am leaving now. And left the place. The fox had learnt his lesson. Now the moral of the story is, we should do to others as we would like them to do to us. So children, I hope you liked the story. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye bye.